Uh, the article was published uh, entitled, uh, like you see this, the article was published on the 25th of March. It was submitted for edition during 10 days, so the procedure was carried out. This, uh, we had to react to abnormal and immoral situation as to the policy of social distance to find against uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemics. Uh, the quotation was presented in the article, epidemics like all the outbreaks of coronavirus for humanity is a mirror in which moral uh, relationships between people are reflected. At this quotation by Frank Snowden, the current epidemics is different from other epidemics as privileged. Here we can see a typical picture and we can see this picture in different, on different sides. It shows case fatality rate according to the age groups. The probability of dying as to the COVID-19 in different countries for different age groups, we can see that up to the age of 80, the probability of dying is increasing greatly. Moreover, we can see a great distribution as to the different countries. All in all, when these kind of studies are being conducted, in the calculations, so there are quite few parameters. First of all, the number of those who died. Quite easy to define this uh, parameter, but not in case of COVID-19. An infected person died of infarction, myocardial infarction. How to register this death? Uh, of COVID or of infarction, it's quite dubious. We shall handle all this data very cautiously. Looking back, if you compare data uh, from Sweden, from Europe, when they emerged, it was quite a trick. In Europe, morbidity was 4%, uh, then Italy 10%, in Sweden, the mortality rate was 90%. In the UK, the mortality face fatality, case fatality rate amounted to 95%. Uh, what's the point? Uh, they don't know how to treat. Uh, in Sweden, there was uh, the shift to another parameter. In Sweden, they took into account only severe cases and statistics. It's clear that for severe cases, uh, the mortality rate is high comparing to uh, mild and uh, uh, moderate cases comparing to other countries, for example, UK. We shall to take into account uh, the number of those who are infected because of the number of those who are infected are defined by the serological tests. In case of a low uh, rate of infected, for example, less than 5%, if the sensitivity and false positive, false negative results amounts to 95%, uh, the specificity and sensitivity 95% um, is uh, quite considerate. Uh, the number of false negative results were equal, would be equal to the uh, real positive results. It's a kind of epidemiological chaos. If we find, if we find uh, the proper coordinate system, we can find in this chaos some order and be happy about this. If we divide the number of those who died uh, of COVID, uh, in relation to 10 years age time frame and we uh, made uh, 
a crop in a semi from different for different countries uh, in case of semi algorithmic scale these lines are parallel to each other and moreover they are parallel to the lines that were built in accordance to uh, their overall population mortality. On this slide, we can see two coincide lines for Italy and Sweden. And the number of those who died uh, annually per 100,000 of population and uh, upper lines, these are the lines of those who died during the epidemics. Uh, in relation to the number of those who are infected. All these curves, all these lines, they are parallel. And it's impressive. It speaks about the fact that there is the order. These data, They coincide with the Gorpex maker law. Uh, the mortality rate is growing up in COVID cases uh, in those who are not diagnosed. And this uh, similar double time of mortality rate means that the risk of dying in 70 years of age is higher 40 folds comparing to 30 year old persons and out of uh, the victims of infection only 2% they don't have the comorbidity. We should notice the fact that uh, its uh, statement has been already mentioned. Uh, they include hypertension, coronary heart disease, diabetes mellitus of the second type, it's known that the number of patients uh, who were initially diagnosed with this disease, uh, their mortality rate is going up due to age. And the, num the incidence rate of pneumonia is going up, uh, running parallel with the increase in age. This slide, the these are these are the data from the Ministry of Healthcare of Spain. You can see how the chances is are going up due to age. The chances of diabetic, uh, uh, stroke, cardiac disease, and arthritis. It's arthritis is autoimmune disease. Uh, the disorder, uh, the the, when the immune system is compromised uh, and a patient developed arthritis, it may lead to the complications of COVID-19, uh, for example, the cytokine shock and so on. The graphs shows how in a semi-algorithmic scale, it's a linear dependency as to mortality rate of diabetes, COPD, coronary heart disease. All in all, a recent paper was published a week ago stipulates, stipulating that the chances of death as a result of uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection and diabetes and cardiovascular diseases, so they play a great role. The question is how to prevent the development of these diseases in the long run. 
the most reliable way to prevent severe course of the COVID-19 disease is a prevention of these risk factors currently. It was found out that during aging, the greater risk factors of the development of metabolic disorders, metabolic syndrome, the diabetes, and uh, hypertension is uh, the decrease of the quality and quantity of the skeletal muscles. It's important to keep fit in case of the fitness of the immune system and uh, physical stamina. The interesting situation emerged to reduce the probability of infection of uh, old people. Uh, they are placed in the self-isolation, increasing the risk of severe complications uh, if they are infected. As to infection, the slide shows how it's from Spain, Epidemiological Control Center in Sweden. How uh, is the dependency uh, between uh, proved uh, COVID-19 diagnosis and age? We are not interested in absolute figures. It's important to look at uh, how these curves run from the age from 40 up to 70 years of age. We don't uh, see the elevation. The peak happened at the age of 55, but up to 70 years of age. The risk of having COVID-19 diagnosis is not going up. As to the risk of infection, the data are very scarce. The only study, the only paper uh, was done in uh, the only study was done in Japan in the city of Kobra. The data are very limited. We have uh, interpreted them very cautiously. Uh, their uh, confidence interval 95 percent. That in the center is a dependency uh, uh, of infection on age, uh, infection and age dependency. On the right, we have the approximation direct line. Uh, the risk of infection, according to this graph, if uh, it increases uh, due to age, is quite uh, not considerable. Uh, due to age, we don't increase uh, the risk of infection. Uh, there is no one in, in, uh, chance to have a severe COVID form, but the risk of dying is going up in case of COVID infection. Now, because the situation is quite unstable, according to the modeling, uh, people try to understand uh, the results. Uh, the study was made general expected patterns of strategy and focusing on contact between age groups. I translated the conclusions of this study. They are the following. We showed uh, that the uh, that uh, epidemics can be suppressed only if we are effective in the case of isolation of young and moderate age group. The only strategy of partial strict isolation that can lead to the suppression of uh, epidemics uh, mostly include the people of uh, the younger and moderate age. Uh, these uh, strategies 
according to our results, can be compared with the full isolation of people of all the ages. The effectiveness of this amounts to 40 percent. So these age groups, young and moderate age, they contribute greatly into the spread of the infection. On the other hand, uh, the isolation measures in case of old people uh, can theoretically reduce mortality. If we look at this situation, uh, when we try to persuade old people to, con uh, to continue self-isolation, discrimination as to the age may be compared to apartheid. And it can lead to the severe consequences. We can recollect uh, the experiment as to optimization of financial and economic relations between different age groups that was conducted by Radion Raskolnikov. In this context, the profession uh, Raskolnikov was uh, the lawyer, unfinished, uh, not graduated lawyers, and lawyers, economists, and managers. They are too concerned with the lawmaking and law abiding to notice any um, dependencies. If you look at the mirror of the epidemics at the age of 65 plus, uh, people can see who are they in the light of economic, ju law, uh, law, judicial, and managerial positions. And we made the conclusion, what to do? To sit at home, to live at home. We'd like to recollect the term. Our foreign colleagues coined this. Book remover. Boomer. They are those who are the results of the baby boom in the 1950s of the previous century. Now they are 65, 70 years of age. Uh, the virus SARS-CoV-2 um, can be compared as a boom remover, the elimination of the people of this age, either by self-isolation or physical self-extinction. The conclusions uh, uh, that I can make, the older generation has become the main victim not only of SARS-CoV-2, but the measures uh, that were undertaken uh, to stop the spread of this disease. In, uh, the old people, they are not the main agents of the spread of SARS-CoV-2. The people of the old age uh, can be involved in the fight against pandemics and uh, the uh, elimination of its consequences. People older than 65 years of age, they amount to the considerable part of the population. The prospects of the full control of uh, SARS-CoV-2 are unclear, so those who make the decision uh, in uh, case of people older 65 years of age um, uh, should uh, be very cautious in their decisions.